Sugar Buddies. We are on the cusp of a very big adventure. We're gonna ride our motorcycles up the coast to Big Sur. Today is part one. We're heading to basically Santa Barbara, Santa Inez Mountains. So uh, we're about to hop on the bikes, but we'll show you the route that we're gonna take. So we're here in Venice Beach, and we're gonna take the Pacific Coast Highway, Highway 1, all the way up the coast, past Malibu, Ventura, hop on the 101, get to Santa Barbara, have lunch there probably, and then make our way up to the San Inez Mountains. We're gonna be camping tonight. Uh, it should be a good adventure. A little bit of rough camping, a little bit of fine dining, a nice balance right there, and we're gonna have a good time. So what are you riding? I have a 2013 BMW F800 GS. Uh, I got it used with like 8,000 miles on it. Got about 11 and a half now. My bike is named Bucephalus. Bucephalus was the horse that carried Alexander the Great from Macedonia to India. I'm by no means Alexander the Great, but Your name like, is Alexander. My name is Alexander and I like having a trusty steed, so. Alex and I are different as night and day, so by way of contrast, let me introduce you to my bike, which is named Rocinante, which was the horse of Don Quixote, because I'm a little bit more impractical a little bit more romantic, says the single guy. Romantic as in romanticism, not as in romance. I got a 2007 uh, Bonneville, which is the last year they had the carbureted system. We did reach out for sponsorship on this trip uh, from Pack Animal Tobacco and Cena. So thank you to those companies for helping us make this possible. You guys ready for an adventure? Let's go. We have the world's famous Malibu, small and fun as usual. Well, it feels like we're already on the central coast here, leaving LA at Zuma Beach. The PCH is one of my favorite roads. How about you, bro? I love this road, man. Rode it on my bicycle when I finished college, and now it's kind of cool to go up it on a motorbike with you. Motor bicycle, I like it. Stop number one, Ventura County. We just crossed the county line from LA to Ventura County. And uh, we're pulled over real quick at Neptune's Net, it's kind of a famous biker bar. How you feeling, bro? Fun? Feeling good, man, we're on the road. Yeah, man. I think it's official, we're out of LA, and you can already feel the climate change. It's a bit more country up here, there's like kind of a ranch vibe in a lot of spots. There's uncrowded coastline, and the PCH is gonna be our guide all the way up to Big Sur, with a couple detours, but this is the artery of California, and I'm stoked to go explore with you, bro. Yeah, man. I think this is the northernmost limit I've gone on the PCH on my motorbike. We've done it by car, but for me at least, this is all fresh territory moving north. So I think next stop is Santa Barbara, but we have a bit of riding to do before we get there. How far is it? 50 or 60 miles from here, it's like 70. an hour and a half though. It's gonna take a while, yeah, so we should hit the road. All right, let's do it. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived to beautiful Santa Barbara, California. I really like coming back here. I went to school here back in the day. Honestly, this is just one of the prettiest towns in California. And to arrive here on two wheels, way, way more fun. We're in the heart of the old Spanish city. There's a Presidio here, there's a mission nearby. So on the way up here, we passed all these like um, arched bells along the road on the 101, which is because the 101 was originally known as El Camino Real, a royal road that linked all the missions that the Spanish built together, which are like the backbone of California. So each mission was about a day's journey uh, apart on horseback, a journey being uh, from the Latin word for a day. So um, the fact that we're now on motorized horses, you know, motorbikes, means we can go between a couple of missions in a single day, but originally that was the plan. This thing called the land shark just went by and I'm having a serious college flashback. It's basically an aquatic bus, but somebody in college rented it out for a birthday party. We put a keg on it and we drove down State Street drinking beers and then from State Street went straight into the harbor and had a boat tour with a keg. It was the coolest, coolest birthday party like ever. The great thing about this part of the coast is how the mountain range just comes right down to the coast, which creates a really cool little ecosystem. And it means that we can just leave the city and in a couple of minutes be way up in the mountains. I love how California has so many different ecosystems. And you can really feel the shift here, like the, the water current off the coast is colder here than it is down in Los Angeles. Yeah, it's because of the uh, ocean currents from the Channel Islands. The Channel Islands, basically, we're right on the edge of two different ocean currents, and the one from the north is way colder, so it brings a lot of nutrients, but also causes a lot of fog. It does get foggy, but when it's sunny, it is, you know, unbeatable, honestly. <laughs> Gibraltar Road. We've kind of left Santa Barbara behind and we are up in the Santa Ynez Mountains and this road is gorgeous. It's beyond gorgeous. We're surrounded by all these beautiful mountains. We've got probably another 25 miles as the crow flies, but it's super twisty so we're taking our time. <laughs> oh, the views. The views are to ride for. site tonight in this beautiful little oak grove uh, it's the golden hour and we're gonna claim the campsite there's a fire pit down there and then hop back on the bikes and head to cold springs tavern to get dinner and a drink one of the reasons that we're traveling so light is because we're using bivy sacks it's like a condom for your sleeping bag it's waterproof layer that you put outside your sleeping bag so we're going to be able to sleep under the stars without a tent and it's just generally the best campsite we could have found. Alright so we've arrived at the Cold Spring Tavern. 
time. This place is so cool. It's like nestled in a little nook here and it's from the old stagecoach route from like the 1860s forward when this was part of the, the mail route. This place is incredible. It's so homey and vintage and western. The food looks amazing. It smells really good in here. well-deserved meal after an epic first day on the road. It's so fun. Today is one of the most fun days I have had in a very long time. And to end it with a legit meal at a place as awesome and authentic as Cold Springs Tavern, I don't think there's a better way to end it. So in fact, we're gonna go sleep in a forest. So we're gonna go <laughs> camp under the stars and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to Bag Brothers, and turn on notifications so you get updates when we publish more videos. And in the meantime, stay curious, keep exploring, and we will see you guys tomorrow on the road. The road trip continues. Stay tuned. Peace. <laughs>